There is no issue that I can think of where hypocrisy rises to a higher level than this issue. You got Republicans who say, we hate the government. The government is terrible. We want to privatize Social Security. We want to cut Medicare. We want to cut Medicaid. We want to cut federal aid to education. Government is terrible, 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 except, except when it comes to a woman having to make a choice. government to make a very personal decision for every woman in this country. Boy, do I disagree with that. What this campaign is about and why the establishment is getting very, very nervous is that we are urging people to think outside of the status quo, to think outside of the box, to think outside of the options that the corporate media often presents to us. Very often when you turn on the television, you can see these pundits there, and they're gonna say, well, you know, uh, I don't know, it's a tough choice. Either we're going to cut nutrition programs for children or we're going to cut educational programs. Harry, what do you think? Which program should we cut? Well, I don't think those are the choices we have got to make. one-tenth of one percent now owns almost as much wealth as the bottom 90 percent. We got some other choices that we can make. Yeah! And I think that choice is to tell the billionaire class and the corporation. Well, that is one way to phrase it. I can't quite phrase it like that. It's not bad. You get to the point very succinctly. I like it. But I will not repeat what the gentleman just said. But on something with F off, I don't know what it was. It is to break through that box yeah. Yeah. and not accept the options that the big money interests want us to consider. For example, if you are, if we are the wealthiest country in the history of the world, if we have multi-millionaire hedge fund operators who pay an effective, i.e. real tax rate, lower than many of what you pay, if we have large multinational corporations making billions of dollars a year in profit and then stashing their profits in the Cayman Islands and in other tax havens and at the end of a given year not paying a nickel in federal taxes, you know what? We got other options other than cutting Social Security. the billionaire class that we are going to fight for a moral economy and that moral economy means we are going to effectively address the grotesque level of income and wealth inequality that now exists and that we are going to ask the wealthiest people in this country to start paying their fair share of taxes. is 
is listening to young people. And again, when you think outside of the box, listen to what young people are saying. They're saying, Bernie, you know, we listen to our parents, we listen to our teachers, we listen to our community, and we did what everybody told us was the right thing to do, and it is the right thing to do. Go out and get the best education that you can. And yet, when we go out and get the great education that we need, we're ending up thirty, fifty, seventy thousand dollars in debt. Why are we being punished for doing what we should be doing? Getting up. And in a rational economy, there is no answer to that question. Young people are absolutely right. Our job is to encourage people to get all of the education they can because, as you all know, we are living in a highly competitive global economy. We need the best educated workforce. Yeah. That is why I believe we have got to do two things. Number one, we have got to recognize that 40 or 50 years ago, you had a high school degree. You went to public school, first grade to 12th grade, you got a high school degree. You know what, you were in pretty good shape. You could go out, you can get a good job and make it into the middle class. Well, guess what? The world has changed, the economy has changed, technology has changed, education has changed. People today need more education. And that is why I believe that when we talk about public education, today it's not just first grade through 12th grade, we have got to make public colleges and universities to wish it free. And we also have got to lower student debt in this country by allowing people the right to get the lowest, to refinance their debt with the lowest interest rates they can find. Well, people say, Bernie, you're Santa Claus, you're giving away free tuition, public colleges and universities, you're gonna lower student debt, how are you gonna pay for it? I will tell you how we're gonna pay for it. We're gonna pay for it through a tax on Wall Street speculation. nearly destroyed this country and our economy against my vote the Congress bailed them out. Now it is Wall Street's time to help the working families. This campaign is listening to our brothers and sisters in the Latino community. undocumented people in this country. They deserve comprehensive immigration reform and This campaign is listening to the African American community. I have been in Flint, Michigan, talking to parents whose children were poisoned by lead in the water. I've been in Detroit, Michigan, where their public school system is on the verge of collapse. I've been in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, which has the highest rate of poverty of almost any city in America. In Milwaukee, Wisconsin, where you see acres and 